Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing another geo nail design. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below and click on that notification bell for future videos. So I wanted to update you guys on the growth of my nails on my left hand. My index finger, as you see here, is still going strong. It's growing pretty long there, and my thumbnail is catching up, so I'm really happy about that. I did have my middle finger um, catch up with my index finger, but I had to trim it because, again, last uh, the other week I mentioned that I slammed it against the, the counter and I chipped it a little bit. But I just have to have these three match the index and everything will be golden. Otherwise, like my nails are pretty strong. So I'm so happy about that. And um, I'm going to be switching up my diet for the next three weeks. So I'm curious to see if they get even stronger. But I don't know. We'll see. So I started off by putting a base coat, um, one coat of that, and then I am putting some chic white. I almost forgot the color there. Um, and I'm doing two coats of this, and I'm putting that on each nail. And I'm just showing you the thumbnail today. I just I'm trying to just shorten up my videos. Um, this is probably what, like the fifth or fourth, um, geo design. So we pretty much have an idea of how I started out. <laughs> um, and here I'm putting on another base layer of base coat. I'm using the beetle, uh, well, I don't, I'm going to have to double check if that was the beetles or the model one's base coat. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the beetles cause I had, um, I've taken it out for what I'm going to do on my other hand, um, so I think that was just there. But today we're going to be using the Sally Henson Miracle Gel Colors Pinterest, uh, Red Rhapsody, and Hunger Flames. I have some uh, white striping polish uh, from Shani, and um, as with all the other Geo nail designs, I'm using my marble brush to just wiggle all of that nail polish off of there um, in places where the color is just too one color if that makes any sense I'm just gonna chop it up with the brush and pull it here and there so um, like for example this nail here I'm just gonna uh, just take some colors and muddle that in so that there's a variety in that marble there but um, the difference with this marbling that I'm doing as opposed to the other ones that I've done, I'm just using the nail polish sparingly. Um, I don't want it to super cover the whole nail like I did with the others because I want to lay down some pixie crystals in this one. Um, I'm not a fan of pink as you know, but I am pretty honest about saying whether or not pink shades are pretty. And of course, since I've bought these ones, um, I do like these pink shades um, and I love the color that's coming out. So I think these are probably one of my favorite geode um, designs that I've done so far. So I'm taking some um, Shani Striping Gel. This is like a, a magenta colored glitter and it's, you know, my Shani Striping polishes are pretty old and pretty used up especially the glitter so this is um laying down thick but I like that because I want to have this texture in my geo nails I don't want it to be flat at all um so I'm sure if you tried this just use new nail polish as opposed to like running out nail polish that's like pretty low um and you won't be getting these thick textures um, and yeah, if you're doing the marbling, if you don't like the textured effect, um, don't put as much, uh, nail polish as I put, I had put down. This is probably the thinnest that I've put compared to all the other ones. So it would be literally like a thin stripe. Um, and you'd have to work fast because regular nail polish dries so quickly. So after that's dried, I'm going to put on some of this gummy jelly by Enel Couture and um, some shiny 
and I'm just gonna like put a thin layer over the whole thing because I want these pixie crystals to sink into there I don't want them slipping around um, so use the shiny sparingly um, but I'm just I wet my brush uh, with the uh, shiny and I'm picking up these tiny pixie crystals you can't even see them on my table there um, but they're there and I'm just gonna lay this down I am laying them down like partially on the white partially on the pink because I do love the reflection of color that comes off off of each side so as you can see on the white it comes off clear like that um, but when you lay it down on the pink color it reflects the iridescent kind of shade that um, gives this geode some texture and don't mind my uh, right hand I know it's looking a lot messy with my sculpted nails there but I was literally like doing the next design um, while I was waiting for the marble to dry so you guys this week I'm putting out a bonus video I needed to go um, do these two designs uh, to be matching so that it's not too crazy in public but um, <laughs> so as you can imagine my right hand, the next video that I'm going to be posting later this week is going to be of a pink shade. So all you um, pink fans out there, you're going to absolutely love these. Again, I'm not a pink fan, but I absolutely love both of these designs that I'm going to put out this week. And I'm so super happy about it and kind of like proud to be able to share this with you. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment below um for this design and then you know when i put out the other one leave a comment there too as well um and i don't know if you heard that jingling but uh <laughs> dexter's playing with his toys it's so funny at any rate um yeah i'm just gonna do this to each nail i love this part like uh the geo designs and adding the pixie crystals i think it just makes it that much more of a geo design granted it's like pink <laughs> which i don't think is pretty natural in the geode world i think it's more like a red that i've seen and lavender purplish ones that i've seen but I love adding this um, little touch to it. I think it adds more character. I do have rose gold leaf that I could have done like I did with um, some of the other Geo designs. But I don't think it would have looked as good as this does right now. This is like pretty simple, but it's really not. I mean, that pixie crystal just adds so much more dimension, so much more soft color that I really like and can appreciate with um, shades of pink like this. So we're nearing the end of the line here. Um, again, I am just super excited about showing you um, these videos. I feel like it's been not a week. I feel like I've been away from YouTube for so long. I know I'm kind of behind on my video viewing you guys. This is probably like my second week at uh, my new job um i don't think i announced that last week did i okay so announcement um i started a new job and it's something that i've been kind of looking for for quite some time as you guys know i do architecture and i kind of haven't been in it for a handful of years i've been doing a lot of other uh bits of construction that seem to be more cut and dry um, and more minute, um, more leading roles and it's, that's great and all the money was great, but at the same time, um, I guess that's what happens. I mean, it's like in the architecture world, you try not to sell out and not that I did, but I needed to do what I needed to do to, you know, provide for my family. And now I have the opportunity to, um you know step back and and get back into design so uh i work from home and that's super perfect i mean can you imagine there's just so many things that i can do now including cleaning the house <laughs> more often um and not rely on the uh, significant other to do a half crap job <laughs> 
I'm just joking. I appreciate um, the help that I get. Um, but, um, you know, and it, it's for the future uh, s- steps in life. Um, working from home is just going to be super perfect. Um, so I've been trying to get a handle of that because you'd think you would have more time, but you really don't. <laughs> And, um, I have a time shift. I mean, I'm on East coast, but I'm like serving, um, other time zones. So it's just, it's interesting to say the least. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. And, um, so, and I'm definitely excited about these designs that I have for this week. So I feel like it's been a hot minute, but it's actually been a week like usual. Um, but I can't wait for you to see these, you guys. Um, let alone the fact that it's pink, but, um, I'm really proud of, of, of what I've done this week. <laughs> All right. So we're putting some cuticle oil onto each nail, getting that in, and we're going to show you the end result. Here is the, oh, here is the, let's try this again. Lovely pink marbling geo design. And we're going to do a close-up. Video definitely doesn't do justice. I mean, it's pretty close, but you can see all that reflection off the pixie crystals. But it's super pretty. And I can't wait for you to see the next video because it's going to go along with the next design on the long nail side. But thank you so much for tuning in. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me again later this week when I reveal to you the special video that I've been working so hard on. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.